welcome back to Let's Pray We Don't Die in Dark Souls 2, Episode 9. Now, I'm really excited, actually. Um, lasting until Episode 9, we're actually doing okay. You know, and the last one died a little bit, right? Died ever so slightly. And it was unfortunate, too. I, I, I really thought that actually I had the old Dragon Slayer. And so I'm debating uh, about whether I want to go immediately back to that, which I'm not is, is certainly not futile, um, or if I want to go somewhere else. Now, there's a couple other somewhere else's I can go, but I don't like to give up on things. And I wouldn't consider it giving up, right? Sometimes it's, it's a strategy to kind of refocus and, and pick a new destination. Um, so what are we going to do? I, you know, I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to roll with it. And we're going to use a human effigy. Okay? Human effigies. What do they do? Well, they let us fix our scary face. So we've got Kalein. And she's very much alive now. So excited to have her alive. And we're going to try this one more time. All right. So, well, of course, we'll go ahead and get rid of these jerks. Hey, you're not supposed to move out of the way. What's wrong with you? silly goals of self-preservation. Okay. You know, really, I shouldn't be intimidated by these guys. They're kind of slow. Right? Like, maybe you noticed, maybe you didn't. They lumber a little bit. I lumber a little bit. Actually, I lumber a lot, so I really do need to go ahead and fix my stuff. So let's go ahead and let's get our masterless Glencore. Because he was a good guy. I, I like that. You know, he's going to come here and he's going to help us. And more importantly, I'm going to use him to try and ensure that I don't, uh, what's, what's the term I'm looking for? I want to ensure that, um, well, I'm drawing a blank. That's okay. I've, I've got kind of a splitting headache, and I hate to use that as, as something that sounds kind of like an excuse, but it's really true. It's actually making it really hard to think. And, of course, you know, what does he do? He Geronimo's right into it. No! No! Get out of my way! Are you serious? Can we, can we, you know, not do that? Uh. Alright, I gotta remember. This is how you lock on, and that is how you don't use a shield. There we go. At least, you know, at least he's kind of... There we go. What am I saying? I'm not even finishing saying, at least he's kind of something. At least, uh, you know, how much life does he have, though? Look at that. You know, he's lost like three quarters of his health bar. What is wrong with you? Why do you have absolutely no self-preservation instincts? Is it not obvious that I am able to just pick them off? You know, I need to be able to issue commands to these people. Like, sort of like, don't die. Don't die right now. It's not convenient to me. It's not helpful to me, actually, for you to die. <sighs> now, I know that I saw him heal at some point somehow. I don't know how he did it. Oh, I also know that we used... Man, did we use all of those uh, good uh, life gems? All right, is he going to stand there and kind of do something, nothing, maybe? Show this to a certain person. Oh, it's a soul vessel. Those are cool. They let you, uh, they let you respec your character. All right, we got an old radiant life gem. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna have. Um, I got three healing items. That's actually incredibly low for what I want to attempt. Well, now, of course, I've also got the flasks. So, like, maybe that's okay. Maybe that'll somehow even out. What I would not mind is I would not mind a human player, but, you know, I've actually... I'm so much stronger than I should be at this point in the game that I think it's actually unrealistic to expect a human player. Okay, all right. You know, also, that's a really bad idea. You know what you're doing? You're, 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 you're getting him in a choke, yeah, but at the same time, you're getting yourself choked. I don't want you to get choked. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Now, at least you trigger some healing. Um, I don't know how big your, uh, I don't know how big your flask inventory is. Oh, man, I am really getting my behind kicked by this headache actually so hopefully hopefully this will work out 
I took something. Maybe it'll uh, maybe it'll work. Maybe it'll just make me feel worse. I don't know. What I do know is that instead of engaging this enemy, we're gonna exit stage right. We're gonna exit stage right. We're gonna exit stage right. Do do the thing. Do the thing. Do the thing. No, don't worry about him. Come this way, please. Can you please please think critically just a little? There's no summon sign. Oh, oh, there's a summon sign. Shoot. Are you serious? This alarm is gonna go off. Get me killed. Hey, Master Liz Glencore, pay attention. Are you are you really? There we go. Yeah. We got a nice sword. Alright, so we summoned like a minor summon person. That's cool. Summoning has failed. We didn't summon a minor summon. Ooh, hey, how did I miss this? There's like a treasure chest. It's really obviously right here. What's in there? Ring of Binding and Human Effigy. Okay. I, uh, I'm having a hard time remembering what the Ring of Effigy, or, haha, <laughs> the Ring of Effigy. That makes sense, right? Ring of Blades, cover this Serpent, Life Ring. So that life ring's not really worth it, actually. Uh, okay. No, uh, I don't really think that actually does do that, though. I don't think we have anything that can actually help us out here. So what do I do? Do I just take my little useless AI person and uh, and and go and do the thing? Cause uh, that's a hell of a boss, heck of a boss. All right. So what I think we're gonna do is I think we're gonna do the thing. And, yeah, because I'm not seeing any summon signs. So we're on our own. Okay, all right, so first thing he's gonna do, he's gonna be a jerk and he's gonna try and rush at us. Oh, and I'm gonna get hit right away. I was, I was pressing the dodge button, but no, no, are you serious? Okay, at the very least, get your souls so you don't, like, miss out on that retrieval. All right, retrieval time. And uh, we'll we'll let him kind of take the brunt here. We're going to heal. And I'm just going to start picking him off from a distance because that's the only thing I can do at this point. That's, like, reasonably safe. We'll let, uh, we'll let this guy... See, he's just going to get himself killed. Actually, you know what? No, let's not pick him off from a distance then. Let's think about this. You, I am trying to distract you. Hey, hey, I am trying to distract you. The, no, does hitting me distract you? Not really. No, are you serious? Come on, you're gonna kill my buddy and I need him to do this. I am just too soft and squishy. No! Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. This is ridiculous. Yeah, all right, so he got a chance to heal. I'm really happy about that. I'm just gonna soul arrow him. He's halfway down in health, halfway down in health. Maybe, just maybe. We can maybe, maybe, maybe do this. That's a lot of maybes. That's okay. We're making maybes. All right. All right, no. Don't you dare, don't you dare. And dodge. All right, now when does he start doing the weird shadow stuff, though? I haven't seen that yet. And that, that concerns me. All right, so you have some recovery time with that. Ha, 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 feel the double team. Oh, oh yeah. Hey, and uh, we actually had Masterless Glencore survive. Now that is amazing. We got back our souls. We have 22,735 for 35 minus one souls. I uh, read that wrong. How did I do that? It's clearly a four, not a five. That's all right. All right, so off to the Cathedral of the Blue, which is incidentally where we are. But more importantly, there's things and stuff and stuff and things this way. So we're going to talk to that guy. But first, we're going to take a sharp right. We're going to go down this hall. And if I can see, I'm seeing some glare from my TV here. Or not my TV. All right, we're going to torch light. Or light the torch. We're going to light the bonfire. And then we're going to rest at it and bring our boss back to life. Just kidding. I am not a sadist. So. 
One second. All right. Now I could have sworn that there's some items that are hidden, but I'm not. I'm actually not seeing any hidden items, which is a little frustrating. So let's see here. I could have sworn that there are hidden items. Well, there's this treasure chest. Oh, is the treasure chest locked though? I can't remember. Nope. sworn that there was something I didn't get access to till I talked to him. Hide Knight, Iron Mask, and the Tower Shield. Hmm. Oh, come on, talk to me. I thought I initiated conversation here. Transient being. This is no place for one such as you. Be gone. You are not needed. What? How am I a transient being? Transient be- you would never make a knight of the blue. Be gone. You are not needed. Transient be- Okay, you really? I've actually never had that gone. happen. What does that even mean? Because I absolutely want specific items from you, and you're telling me you're not even going to talk to me. <sighs> That's ridiculous. I mean, all right, so the, the way of the blue, which is what he represents, is supposed to be for like, you know, quote, you know, positive karma characters. There should be nothing that I've done that was negative karma inducing. There should be no reason why this guy is not talking to me. That's ridiculous. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna travel to Majula and uh, kind of cash in my souls because I got a lot to cash in. It's always a good feeling, right? You know, like at some point I feel like I should play the game for hours and hours and hours and then not level up to like, you know, a certain point and jump like 40 levels. That'd be amazing. It's also super risky. Like there's just no good reason to do that. There's no good reason to do that. All right, so. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna talk to uh, the Maiden in Black here. Or I mean the uh, Emerald Herald, right? You know, our symbolic level up character. And what are we gonna do this time? Now I know that I wanted to work on my equip load because it's still like a mess, but that's a lot. It costs a lot of souls to even do it once. So I don't know that I'm super happy about that. Um, we could level up our decks. Do a little more damage with our sword. Uh, and at some point, I'm going to want to address my attunement. I've got three slots. I don't know. But, I mean, that just slightly raises my casting speed. But intelligence will do the same after a while. Oh, no, it won't. Not at the same rate. So let's see here. Uh, we can do that. Get some extra stamina. Um, and, and maybe... Shoot. I also want to go ahead and increase my intelligence because that's what my character is, right? My character is a magic user and that is absolutely dictated by intelligence. So, let me check and see if I have any extra soul items. That is not how you open up the menu. It is not the triangle button. Let's see. Well, I've got all like the boss souls, but I don't want to just, you know, waste those willy nilly. All right, cool. So what does that leave us? That leaves us with a little bit of extra money. So we're going to talk to Malentia. I knew you'd be back. Oh, she did know we'd be back, right? She's got an endless supply of these. And we do not have an endless supply of souls for which to purchase them, unfortunately. Thanks. I'm one of my characters. I always kept about 99 of them. Um, but, I mean, you know, I've gotten to the point where I can play this and not die so frequent. So... It's okay. All right, so we could go back to the Lost Basile, but I think I want to go to the Cathedral Blue because we have a friend to meet up with. Oh, wait, no, not the Cathedral Blue. Dang it. That is totally not where I meant to go. I can't believe that I, I warped there. Um, in fact, what I meant to do is I meant to go to the other location in Hades Tower, which is, like, practically the same location. But, you know, it's just far enough away to where I've got to deal with those uh, big stone giant things. Or I could just run by them. I can run by them. Yeah, that's fine. We can do that.
Okay, is it this way? I think so. Alright. So there's gonna be one to the right of me. Well, down into the right, like significantly more down. And we're just gonna kinda zoop by him. You know, it actually I'm I'm sure of it now. It would have been much faster, in fact, to have just gone ahead and uh it would have been faster, in fact, to go ahead and it just warped. You know, I would have had the loading screens, sure. But, you know, what? like watching me take a stroll and almost get, like, hit is probably not going to be very fun. Or, you know, you know what will be fun about it? When I actually get hit, because I think I won't get hit. That'll be a blast. All right, so I think we're going the right way. Yeah, we're going the right way. Okay. Hey, how's it going? There we go. All right, well, we made it through there. That was okay. You know, and I forgot about it, too. You know, the, the lady that we talked to, the uh, the one who's trying to gull or, or you know, help people, right? um, she's gone. I wonder what's up with that. Where could she be? I know, but I'm not going to say. So instead, let's go here into the unknown. Looks like, looks like, <laughs> what? Looks like we have a staircase though. And it just goes around in a circle that way. Okay, I was thinking there might be something hidden. I can't remember everything in this game, unfortunately. I wish I could. Oh, there's an item though. Well, there's a car, there's a car, there's a truck. All right, monastery charm. So, now actually, um, we're going to keep running across those big creeps down here, uh, but that's okay. It's actually not too bad. And, ah, ah, look at that. I'm already doing terribly. And swing. Thank you. See, look at that. They listen to me. Swing at me now. Swing at me now. I'm waiting for that column to come down. Maybe those columns there don't break. Ah! Really? Dang it! This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous! All right, now I honestly want to explore that way. You guys are just getting in my way. Yeah, you know what? Stay there. Get hit by me mercilessly. See how much damage you do when you can't even walk in here. There, there. Look who, look who's cheap now. I can swing a sword too. Yeah. Look at that. You know, that's what I just need to do. I just need to attack them with my sword, even though I'm soft and squishy and really easy to kill. But I guess that puts me in a category with a lot of other human beings, right? So that's not too bad. What did I get? I didn't even pay attention. Soul of Proud Knight, Old Knight Halberd. Halberd. Give it a big pointy stick. I like pointy sticks. All right. And we're gonna go down here. I really could use more healing items. Hey, how's it going? Now, just one of these guys isn't bad. One of these guys is really manageable because, yeah, they only tend to swing three times because of their stamina. And step, and step, and step. And we can just kind of do the same thing. Zip, zip, zip. Ah, oh, okay, so I wasn't expecting the, uh, the over the head swing. I guess he can swing, you know, both with his dominant arm and like overhead. So, oops, my bad. Just dying a little, don't mind me. I'm just walking into dead ends. That's how I roll, apparently. All right, uh, is there anything? Pointless ahead, ha, yes, let us rate that. It is, in fact, pointless ahead. Hey, how's it going? Let's hang out, let's be friends. Let's be friends, aw, what? Oh, oh, you know what? I did not notice how low my health was getting. Here. 
have a soul arrow. They're delicious and nutritious. You should really try it. Yep. And dodge. And dodge. And dodge. There we go. Getting a little bit into the flow here. Fall down. Yeah, there you go. This is a good boy. All right, uh, okay, so yes, that way, but what's down this way? Because I feel like, I feel like I don't remember if I've been this way or not. Well, no, of course I have. That's the way that I, that I came in. And then that way was the way that was said pointless ahead. Okay, gotcha. So instead of going somewhere pointless, like I seem to like to do, I am going to activate this. Oh, that sound effect's been around ever since Demon Souls. It's a nice, uh... It's a nice reminder of, uh, the past here. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, what is that noise? I hear something dragging. Really just waiting to get to the bonfire that I know is not too far ahead from me. Um... Because that's probably where we're going to go ahead and end this episode once we get to that bonfire. Alright, you know, look at him. He's hanging out there. What are, what are you doing back here, buddy? What are you protecting? Because I don't remember what you're protecting. And luckily, this water doesn't matter. Uh, when the water gets a little thicker, it actually does impede your ability to dodge. And, you know, we of course, we, we haven't seen any water yet, really. Well, no, like actual water that does stuff um shoot there take a have a swig of good old-fashioned homebrewed estus ah uh, did i cancel out of it and actually consume that soul arrow that stinks hey you're not allowed to block who said you could block i didn't say you could block no i did not say that you could block at all I am just really ready to get to the next bonfire. You have no idea. It's just like the perfect spot to stop. Okay, all right, so wait. So there's that way. Then what's on that side side area? Because that's the way I want to go for sure. I know it. But since we're here, I'm just trying to see, am I missing something? Well, wait, all right, so what's up? what's up this way? Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> Did I... Wait, what? Ah, oh, oh my gosh, all right. So this place, I don't wanna say that it all looks the same. It makes me placist. <laughs> That's terrible. That was a terrible joke. Don't ever use terrible jokes like that. It's just ridiculous. But, all right, so we're gonna go in the hole. Sounds like a plan. Let's see here. Bonfire ahead. Yeah, let's rate that sucker. I'm really, really, really happy that we are getting close to a bonfire. And we'll see a buddy there, but I'm going to save that for next time. So I'm going to light the bonfire. Come on, baby, light bonfire. And rest at bonfire. Yeah, that's terrible. No one's going to get that. Somebody might get that. Anyway, I want to thank you for joining me for, of course, Let's Play Dark Souls, Scholar of the First Sin, Episode 9 on In Plus One channel. And this is a part where I give you the spiel about subscribing and liking and doing stuff, right? You know, I can tell you, do the thing, and you can be like, no, I'm not going to do the thing. Please, do the thing. Go ahead and subscribe. Uh, go ahead and comment, um, like... Uh, make sure to press the like button in odd number of times. If you press it an even number of times, you're just going to kind of unlike it. It'll be like you never interacted with it. So that's not fun. 
I want to hear from you though, right? Like I, I want to engage the community. I want people to talk to me. Tell me what you want to see and I'll make it happen. Anyway, I'll see you next time.